City, the best place to learn how to trade on YouTube. I hope you guys are having an amazing day over here. Um, again, Print City again today, well, up over 1% on the account, up a little over, what was that, 4.5, 4.6 yesterday. Uh, pretty solid start to the week, man, if I do say so myself. So, team, um, make sure you guys are hitting that like button on the way in. If you guys have not already, helps out a whole lot with the algos over here. And... Remember, a little bit of housekeeping, as we usually do at the beginning of these streams. Uh, everybody has access to your two-week free trial to the Trade 1348 platform. Uh, if you haven't gotten in there yet, I uh, don't know don't know what's going on in your brain over there. But again, uh, making a bunch of money in the stock market isn't for everybody. So make sure you guys check that out if you guys are interested. Making sure you get the traffic lights. And again, two weeks for free. If you do want to upgrade to the lifetime payment plan or the three-year plan, make sure you reach out to Diana. Uh, by market close today so she can help you getting that set up so you can upgrade to one of those three-year or lifetime plans so you are all set to go mainly for the three-year for that amazing master class that we have prepared for you guys coming up this sunday but let's see what the market wants to do going into the end of the day here and i'm here now stv anders what's up buddy how you doing welcome 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 i appreciate you coming over here honestly anders i fucking love you you are really cool because you are one of those people that i view to be smart because you you see what you've done wrong in the market here. And you are then coming in and saying, okay, I need help. I'm definitely doing something wrong. How can I make my trading better? Everybody should think like Anders. Everybody should. Not, oh, it's not my fault that, the, that I'm losing money in the market. It's the market's fault. Nope, that's not what it is. If you're losing money in the market, you're doing something wrong. So here we go, team. Keep hitting that like button on the way in. Let's run some of these numbers up. I hope you guys are having a great day. Shout out Anders. Tyler's here. Rose Q. All right. Let me uh, hold on. I got to grab my coffee really quick because I want it. Uh, and I just made it. And it took a little bit too long to make. But now it's over there. It's going to take me like two seconds to go. Ooh, spy. Hello. Hello, spy. All right, guys. I want to come back here and see those like numbers like way the fuck higher. Everybody in here right now. I know a lot of you guys are from platform. Hit the damn button. Okay. Okay. All right. Give me like two seconds. Slackers. All right. Let's see. Spy selling off a little here. Where's shop? I have this on the two minute for a very specific reason that you guys are going to know from the masterclass on Sunday. But let's see here. Just need to fix it. Yes, you do, Ryan. What did the Ortex say? <laughs> Fuck Ortex is what I have to say about that. Not helpful to anybody. Let's see. All right, team. What do we got going on here today? Of 9.9% .9 of the portfolio for the day, 1348, winning loser, you absolute monster. Now, here's what I don't want you to do, winning loser, try to, trying to get that extra 0.1. Um, if you get that extra 0.1, cool, but like, come on, bro. Let's fucking take the 9% day, all right? All right, buddy? You still haven't checked TRKA yet, huh? Mentioned it at 20 cents today. It's been going up. Good work, though, STV. Uh, you know why? Because penny stocks are fucking bullshit. Um, and we're not going to ever talk about penny stocks on this channel because uh, they're bullshit and they're penny stocks for a reason. Do you, do you have a, a rebuttal to this? Would you like me to lead retail to the slaughter and talk about penny stocks all the time? Don't come in here and say, I called this penny stock. You just look stupid because everybody in here is going to be like, yeah, fuck the penny stocks. I don't care. I made 88% on NVIDIA today and another 10 on SPY and another 10 on Tesla. And another, like, come on. We're not fucking around with those types of stocks. If you want to talk about penny stocks, go to somebody else. That's not what we're doing over here. Penny stocks are nonsense. Nonsense. Am I happy you made money? Yes. But you better secure the bet. Let's see here. Woo! 11 likes away from 50. Thank you. Thank you. Let's see. Um, this Nancy trade was fun off of here. That was a good one. That was a good one. Let's see. Um, taught the girlfriend the art of the rim job yesterday. 
She's going to join. Thanks, 1348. Now, John, I know we like to call EMA bounces rim jobs over here. And that's what all of us all know and love. But since yesterday was Valentine's Day, I have to ask you a very important question. Did you decide to go butt munching yesterday, John? Is that what you've done? You Is, is that what you did? Is that, is that what you're trying to say here on the live stream? you just butt munching? Mm-hmm. Is that all right? Yeah. Hopefully, uh, you know, shower it first or something. Uh, you don't want any like leftovers in there. You know? <laughs> uh, how do you send the affiliate link after you join? Well, if you have your link, you can just send it to people. Nope, just teaching her to trade. Get your mind out of the gutter. John, I don't want to fucking hear it. Last Friday, we were talking about you giving your nine-year-old daughter day beers. I don't want to hear your shit. <laughs> you literally just said you taught your girlfriend the art of the rim job on Valentine's Day. Don't. <laughs> All right, guys. Keep smacking that like on the way. It helps get these streams out to some more people. Remember, at 4.15 Eastern today. I am dropping a gem of a video for you guys. Make sure you guys have notifications for the YouTube channel turned on over here. Um, and those of you guys that think you have notifications turned on, check it because YouTube likes to play around and not send out notifications for some reason. Uh, TQQQ to the alerts. It's which alerts, Nikki Ricky. <laughs> that was one time. <laughs> I love you guys. What's that, Wednesday? Yeah, I think it is. Dude, I might go. I might um never mind. I'm not gonna tell you where I'm gonna be at any given time. <laughs> um Pepe, these dad jokes, they're not gonna fly today, pal. No dad jokes. Okay. Pepe chin chin. Why Pepe, why don't you come in here and use your mod account? Like you're knighted. Why don't you use it? Where's Harry? I feel like <laughs> to any alerts, it's on there. It should be on there. If it's not, then I'll have to check. Oh, there's Pepe. What's up, buddy? All right, team. So NVIDIA is making a move to the upside here. Spy still continuing this move up off after this nice little traffic light here. There we go. There we go. Let's see what we're going to get. What part of the country I'm in? I'm in Boston, bro. Not a stalker. It's fine. People will. I. You're not gonna unless I start blowing up on like TikTok and Instagram. If you guys did that for me, then people are gonna continue to not recognize me, which is fine. I don't need to get recognized anywhere. It's cool sometimes when it happens, but like in general, it's like yeah, I don't really want that. You went to BC? Oh, that's dope. I have a BC hoodie kicking around here somewhere. Oh, Dimmelson, I already approved you. I think. Go check now. Cause I approve I approved you. I went through and approved all you affiliates. Remember, guys, if you're an affiliate, uh, you refer three people and they become paying members, your membership is now free. He's trying to switch from Discord to platform. How do annual memberships switch over? Uh, what do you mean, Nico? Because you sign up through platform. So you are, if you sign up as an annual member, you're good. You're on platform. If you sign up, you can't sign up through the Discord in order to get Discord. He has to link his platform to Discord, and then he's in the Discord, if that's what you're wondering about. Nikki, I'll just, I'll, I'll literally, I'll literally just ask Algo and have him put it in there if it's not. Spy's teetering around here a little bit. Can you become a mod? <laughs> I can't mod you because when well maybe maybe oh you think he's still on patreon yeah you can't pay for yearly on patreon though that's impossible because there isn't a yearly tier on patreon Ooh, guys guys three likes away from 50 three there's only only three you got to do it so where do you go for the link after you approve me you'll get sent the link 
and it'll be in your dashboard. Uh, can you make me mods when I make dumb decisions? You can time yourself out. You can't time yourself out as a mod. You can't do it. I can time all of you guys out, though. No matter if you're a modder or not. Or not. I'll walk through it with him and troubleshoot. Yeah, thanks, Nico. If he can't figure it out, uh, have him send a support ticket in the uh, in the Discord. Because I don't... I, there's no annual on Patreon that doesn't exist. I should time out all of you. I mean, I could. We used to do that. We used to do the sacrifices over here when we had like 4,000 people in here uh, before I decided to have some fucking integrity and tell you guys that uh, all the AMC shit was nonsense now. Um, after Ape. And we used to do those sacrifices, which were fun because I would just like, everybody would just like request to be sacrificed and there'd be all these timeouts. It was hilarious. Uh, I'll be upgrading the lifetime monthly for sure. Appreciate what you guys are doing. Alexis, thank you. We appreciate that. Yeah, again, just reach out to Diana if you want to upgrade to the lifetime payment plan uh, or the three-year. With the three-year right now, you're probably getting the best deal because you get live beta access or, or you get live masterclass beta access um, and you're paying, you're basically prepaying uh, 19 months, but you get 36 months. So it's basically discounted. Sacrifices for old time's sake. Uh, we'll see. We'll see. We will see. All right, guys, keep running up those likes. I appreciate you. Uh, Shopify's not doing it yet. Nancy, I mean, I would look for maybe a spy trade going at the end of the day, but probably not. Uh, didn't do as well today, but kept your risk well under control and handled things well. A win in my book. Boring trader. That is that is the most important concept of being a trader that people fail to realize. When you win a trade or you make money on it, I think we need to distinguish between winning uh, and making money because you can do some wildly stupid shit in the market, make money, think that's a win, and then you're going to create these bad habits, which is terrible. You don't want to be doing that. But what you've done is you said, didn't do as well today, but kept my risk under control and handle things well, a win in my book. Yes. Remember, I think it was yesterday or the day before when I was saying, oh, I took a loss of like 2% on the SPY trade that I had, but it was a win because the SPY just continued to rip right after, but I had my risk predefined on the chart. That's exactly what I want you guys thinking. Making money on a trade does not mean winning and losing money on a trade does not mean losing. Does that make sense? It doesn't have to be a losing or a winning trade that way. It doesn't. Most of the time, like think about it like this. If you could find a way... If you looked at your brokerage statement and said, okay, this was the amount of money that I actually made on all of my winning trades in the last year, and it's up here, but the amount of money that you lost on trades was way up here, then you're fucked. You lost that year. Let's say this number of wins, like dollar amount, is a million dollars. But you lost, let's say, I don't know, a million fifty. So you're down 50 grand on the year. If you could find a way to cut your losses earlier, maybe even in half, cut your losses in half, that lose, losing goes down to 500 grand and you made 500 grand that year. So it's not always about how big your winners are. It's how small you can have your losers. Does that make sense to everybody? That's why I preach so much with risk management and retest. Because if you look at your portfolio gains and losses over time, if you can eliminate or, or really, really shave down the amount of losses that you're taking on some of these trades, you're going to have a lot more success. How does it feel to be an unwanted piece of meat? No one wants ankles today. Look at the likes. Well, that's not very nice, Pepe. Hey, Jesus. But I hope that makes sense to a lot of you guys. Like if you looked at your brokerage account, depending on what it's going to show you, it's like these are the amounts of the amount of money that you gained and the amount of money that you lost and it balances out tax loss harvesting is winning technically yeah i was reading oh what alan what time am i dropping the video today 4 15 eastern
So get ready. 415, that video is dropping. Tax loss harvest, it's a winning tax. Yeah, dude, I was reading some tax code the other day. Well, not really, like sort of reading it. I was reading like abbreviations of tax code for like this new thing that I kind of have cooking. And I was like, are you serious that they let you do this? It's crazy. Well, it's crazy some of the things that are in the tax code that you can exploit. It's it's actually ridiculous. I was like, that's insane that you can do this. And the interesting thing is too, is because I've had to talk to like other people about this. It's approved by like big four accounting that you can actually do this stuff. It's crazy, bro. Maybe in like a year and a half or two, I'll make a video kind of on uh, on what that thing is. That'll be pretty cool to see. Because by then, it's there's a moat. Paying taxes involuntary? No, it's not. <laughs> Do you guys remember that there was that one guy in here months ago that would be like, yeah, bro, I just don't pay. I just aid. And I was like, don't say that. And he was just like, no, nah, I just don't pay him. And I was like, bro, you can't do that. And he's like, yes, you can. I'm not in prison. I was like, that's crazy. I was like, why are you saying that on a YouTube live stream? That's crazy. You're being a psycho. Bold spy prediction, what's the point? We're just going to do what the chart tells us to do at the end of the day anyway. You go to jail if you don't. That's what I thought too. Apparently not for this dude. <laughs> there was that guy. And then I think it was uh, vote for Bob where he was going to, if we all voted for Bob uh, to be president, he was going to eliminate taxes. And I was like, I love that. Uh, is it true? Future traders don't get taxed? No. It's, they do get taxed, but 60% of any gain that you have on a futures trade is taxed at long-term capital gains and 40% is taxed at short-term. So let's say you make a hundred grand, depend like 60 grand of that is taxed at the long-term capital gains and the 40 is taxed at whatever your ordinary income rate is. So it, it actually is more cost benefit or tax beneficial if you're making a bunch of money in the market to trade futures over options. But that's only if you're making like hundreds of thousands a year. Does we will send tax forms? No, they do. You can download your tax forms there. Would I take a one minute spy put when it triggers this run up? Maybe. I'm not going to, but maybe I would. It's getting towards the end of the day where I don't really like to trade. I sound like Batman today. Do I? I'm Batman. Christopher Nolan. It's not about the money. It's about sending a message. My Joker impression is shitty. It's not good. This one's good, though. What's up, guys? Welcome back to Rich Capital. That one's pretty good. In my Janet Yellen impression going off of the CPI data that we had, we already knew that it was going to come out a little bit lower than expected today, and, but it wasn't because I was wrong and I'm a dumbass that inflation isn't actually transitory because all of the numbers were revised higher and, and I'm trying to basically manipulate markets because I'm the Treasury Secretary Janet Yellen over here. Spot on, bro. I don't know what else to tell you. <sighs> Isn't that a good one? All right, guys, 20 likes away from 100. Thank you, everybody. I appreciate it. Let's see what the market's going to give us going into the end of the day. Who else should I impersonate? Oh, dude, the Jerome Powell video that I post on TikTok, so funny. Let's see. 
Nancy. Ah, here we go. Predictions. When will Tyler end his red streak? Stop feel. Tyler, stop feeling fucking sorry for yourself. Seriously, stop. You can't get down on yourself in the market. You thinking, oh, no, what was me? It's not going to help you. It's, it's, it's not. Like I say this all the time, nobody's coming to save you. I can help you as much as I can with the stuff, but if you're going to think in that way, you're just going to continue to make these bad mistakes because you're going to go into your trades and you're effectively going to say this in your mind. Mm, fuck it. It's probably going to go bad because I suck at the blah, blah, blah. No. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. We're going to have none of that. You're not bad at this. You just make beginner mistakes. That's all that is with you. That's all it is. Stop feeling sorry for yourself. You feeling sorry for yourself is not going to help you become profitable. It's just not. Uh, H-O-T-H. -H. Okay. Day trading is easy. <sighs> I hate penny stocks. I also hate biotechs. If that's your niche, cool. I know a lot of people have success with it. I hate them though, because it's so binary. The only people that are really going to have a whole lot of success in the market in biotechs are people who are like, have worked in that industry or like scientists. That's not me. I'm a 23 year old kid that has never been in the science field. So, so like, that's kind of what you need to have like good, like, like good track record in biotech. It's just not for me. And a lot of them are penny socks, which we don't like too. Yeah, Tyler. And I'm saying this to you because I, I care about you and your account, but I'm not going to let you just sit around all day moping that you think you can't do this. That's not what it is. You're just making beginner mistakes. That's all. The wrench impression, isn't it pretty good, Margo? Uh, let's see here. I'm back. Need to join the Discord again? Whoa, well, depending on how long you've been gone, we have an unbelievably beautiful platform for you guys now. So again, everybody gets two weeks free. Linked at the top of the live chat over there. Make sure you guys hop in before it's too late. We might pull the plug soon on this lower monthly tier in the two-week free trial. Uh-oh, we've been warning you. If I've gone on a two-week uh, green streak, I can do it again. Yes, but here's what you did, Tyler. Ready? I'm going to tell you exactly what you did without knowing what you did because I know what you did. Um, what time is the masterclass on Sunday? It's probably going to be two. Here's what you did. You went into the market and you had a two-week green streak. Now, a couple of things probably happen next, and this happens to all people that first start having a little bit of success. They start changing things a little bit. So you either started taking on a little bit more risk, started getting a little bit more willy-nilly with the trades that you wanted to take, and you said, I'm just going to take them because I'm on a hot streak and I can't lose. It's the same exact thing going in the other way where you're like, oh, I can't win. It's not the same result, though. Like if you, like if you go in and you think, oh, I'm just going to continue to win, it's not going to happen. You have to keep in the back of your mind. Like You almost have to be like, uh, what's the word for this? It's not like timid because you don't want to be timid. It's not fearful. I think the word is cautious. I think that's a good word. You, everybody in this market needs to continue to be cautious, no matter if they're up a lot, uh, having a green streak or not. I think cautious is the right word for this. Because if you're cautious when you're going into your trades, you know, you oversize. Simple. Why'd you oversize? Because you thought you were going to turbocharge your gains, which is not the way it works. See? Like, I'm not a mind reader, guys. I've just been there. Let's see. Wise words. Yeah. I try to help you guys out as much as I can, you know? But yeah, everybody gets two weeks free. If you guys do want to uh, upgrade to lifetime payment plan and things like that, reach out to Diana. Reach out to Diana. She'll hook you guys up. Well, let's see what we get going into the end of the day here. Spies just continuing to climb. Oh, that's day high. Oh, shit. 
Yeah, defensive. You still have to think about not losing money. Like when I'm on, when I go on nice streaks, I actually become a little bit more cautious because I'm like, fuck, I know what happens. I know what can happen mentally going into these trades. You're like, oh, might as well continue. Like you make stupid mistakes. Like I made a stupid mistake. Well, it wasn't really a stupid mistake this morning. I just caught, got caught in a wild candle where I was like, fuck, now I got to eat this loss, which is fine. It was on Tesla this morning. I'll show you guys where it was. It was these candles, these candles. So here's what I was doing on Tesla. I was looking for a push above 414.50, and I was basically playing this retest here. So it looks like you're going to be okay. It bounces up here, and then you're good, and then you get sharked quick. This move was quick as fuck, and that's on the two-minute. If you move this to the one minute, it's even more aggressive. So you can see this traffic light to the upside and then boom, right back down. This one shows promise and then death. So this one was not smart. I ended up getting caught in this one. But it wasn't bad. I'm still very green on the day. You got caught in those same candles. Yeah. It happens. It happens. I get caught in candles sometimes. It's fine. I'm still green down the day. Could I have been more green if I didn't do that? Yeah. It's not how the market works out. It is what it is. Jordan finally broke 2,000 on your port. a boy. There you go, dude. Like, I don't want you guys to sit here and think that I don't lose any trades or I don't make mistakes sometimes. That's going to happen. The difference between, like, me and Gabe and other people who do this have been doing this for a while and some of you guys who are new is we know how to manage it and navigate the market. Like, if we, if we get ourselves in a pickle, it's a lot easier for us to get ourselves out of it quickly than some of you guys who, who haven't felt those types of emotions in the market before. Let's say why Brian we're printing with the traffic lights. I'm just going to continue printing, dude. Let's see. All right, guys, 11 likes away from a hundred. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it. Yeah. Get ready for that video later today too. have it. We haven't posted a video in a little bit. The last video was the traffic light video. You guys are about to get another one today. Get ready. This one's for swing trading. Is it possible to make watch lists on platform? Well, you can use the platform to make a watch list, but not like on platform. We can think about that for you guys, though. Is there anything going on Twitter or is everybody just circle jerking each other, leading everybody to the slaughters? As usual. Let's see. Let's see. They're going to move rates higher. Where is that? Because I don't think that's... If, the, if, if that was an actual new thing, the market would be tanking off of that. Allows to leave runners. Uh, that's not true. I leave runners all the time. How do you think I hit 80% on NVIDIA today? What was the Wall Street bets pump and dump of the day? I don't know. I don't really care. I'd like to. Should we? All right, guys, I'm going to ask you guys a question. Should I create a separate account? Um, literally just to inverse all the dumb shit that I see on social media and just see how it does. Watching a runner on the one minute takes a lot of balls. No, it doesn't. It's the same thing. And again, well, it's, it doesn't though, because you're trading it with a little bit shorter time to expiration. So they move effectively the same. The five minutes going to move a little slower, but the one minute just moves faster.
Yes, Anders. I like that. I mean, I do it all the time. Like the Bed Bath & Beyond and AMC last week was filthy. I should have held those damn fucking AMC puts. I would have made a shitload. I made like 50% on them and like I just ditched it. I was like, this is stupid. I'm going to sell it. Bed Bath & Beyonds were like immediately 98%. Sounds like a waste of your talent. Well, it's fun, though, because all I have to do is use the reversal strategy. U.S. could become unable to pay bills as soon as July. Yeah, all right. Yeah, okay. The United States government is going to fall. Oh, my God. No, they're not, bro. Uh, check Seeking Alpha. Yeah, that's delayed. That's probably stuff from uh, yesterday's meeting that they're writing about, or yesterday's Fed speakers that they were writing about. Debit spreads? Hmm. Hmm. I mean, you're capping your max gain. You can cap your max gain with the stop loss take profit order when Weeble. You can do the same thing there. If you have a smaller account and you want to trade something like Tesla, sure, but you hope buys a big trap. Th this is exactly why I'm waging any swings because of this bullshit shit that we're seeing in the market uh, probably tomorrow or friday i'll think about it but i don't know we'll see i'm loving the one minute traffic lights here though so i mean i don't even know if i really need to continue swinging it's like every now and then i'll swing something and we i mean i i think i've only lost two swings two or three and the ones that i've hit have been like all over a hundred percent Like since I started doing it again, I mean, I like swinging. It's just, it's a different, it's a slightly different game. So that's kind of what we go over in the video that I'm releasing to you guys tonight. Or in like two and a half, two hours and 15 minutes. Let's see. Vino, I hate to say this, but I like, will when you say things in the, in the live chat, I sometimes inverse it and I, like I sometimes do it. Vino, what I would what I would request of you to do is stop doing that and just like be more a part of the conversation versus just trying to make wildly bold predictions for almost no reason. Please, can we do that? Thank you, Vino. Because you're a smart guy. It's just I don't like it's not helping you. I agree. Thank you. I just like, it's not helping you to sit here trying to predict things. It's not helping you. Like why predict it? Why not just do what the chart's telling you? The chart right now is saying, hold off. You don't, there's not really anything going on here. Especially if you're looking at the one minute, the trade was back here. You rode this thing potentially on this retest. Maybe this is the retest all the way up from like a dollar. Like that's a solid move. You're up 30 something percent on your contracts. If you had that, it's like, okay, yeah. Could this buy rip from here? It could, but there's nothing really actionable on this chart saying yes. Let's see. Like right now, the thing that I would be looking at on the SPY is honestly a little reversal. It's fizzling up here a little bit. But again, that could be my bias, but I wouldn't do anything unless the chart told me. Letting Margin Rita play the one minute lights for fun till close. She's murdering Pepsi at the moment. Dude, Rita's a monster. Reed is a monster, dude. So, like, yeah, you're seeing it fizzle a little bit here. Where's shop? I'm actually, this is actually what I really want to look at here. Yeah, dude, this is just bait and switching. Bro, these people keep fucking calling me for no reason. Leave me alone. This is Shannon on a recorded line. Shut the fuck up, Sharon. I don't want your damn Medicare insurance. You know why? I'm 23. I'm not 65. Leave me alone. Hi, I'm calling about your car's extended warranty. What car? Tell me.
What car? Fucking stupid phone calls. Where is Rita? Uh, Rita is our algorithm that's too good for the public that we can't release. It's just like, people always complain like, well, if your algorithm was so good, why aren't you? It's like, yeah, exactly. Rita, it's not for public use. It's it's too filthy. Uh, but what it does is it shows you guys when we give you guys up uh, updates on Rita. It's showing you guys what you could uh, have been doing if you just follow the rules that we teach you guys every single day because that's what Rita uses. Sharon's a robot, bro. Dude, whoa. Imagine they do this. Okay, this is a bold prediction that I'm about to make right here. You ready? These scam calls, what they're going to start doing over the next two years is they're going to start using those AI-generated voices so you think you're getting a call from, like, fucking Joe Rogan. That's what they're going to start doing. But they're not going to do it with, like, Joe Rogan because it's going to be super simple. They're going to try and target old people, and they're going to go, and they're going to – this is fucked up. This is probably where it's headed. And they're going to use, like, celebrities that are, like, the old people would know. It's fucked up. Invest in AI stocks. Got it? No, 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 no. I mean, yeah, AI is pretty cool. This is the queen of England. <laughs> AI is a bubble. I mean, what are the, you'd have to look at the valuations to really determine that. I haven't looked at them. Hey, this is Michael Jackson calling in your car's extended warranty. Yeah, dude, that, like, crazy 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 all right guys five likes away from 100 thank you thank you there is zero chance that you guys get ankles today but it is what it is biotech's different biotech's almost like you can break it down in the sector like you can break it down almost company by company at that point too you only trade 11 to uh, 10 to 11 30. That's it. Good. I mean, if that's the time that works for you, you're killing it. That's fine. Let's see. Oh, you know what is on Twitter, though? It looks like there's updates on like the. Uh, the Tate case, which is interesting. It it appears as if some of the people were making shit up or planning to like try and fuck him over for no reason. That's what it appears to be from these new messages that were released. Interesting. We'll see how that goes. Smash that like button like it's a taco. Jesus, I'll go. Let's see. Spy's hot here on the one minute, man. Hey, Vino, you got one right. There you go. Vino, hopefully you made some money on this one, buddy. Spy pumping. Here we go. Are we going to get some nonsense in the clothes today? This could be fun. Dude, I've got some fire short form videos coming out for you guys this week. Quick 5% on the 14, 413 breakout. Nice. Nice, buddy. Yeah, I mean, if you were in this last traffic light here, you printed. Simple as that. You guys see the traffic lights every day. If you're not using the traffic lights yet and you're not on our platform, I think there might be something wrong with you. It's okay, though. I mean, not everybody's built to make money in the market. 35% on spy calls. Nice. That's funny. And shark. Nothing too crazy here. 
What do you think AMC closes at today? Uh, I don't care. It's fucking at five. It's not going to change anything. Uh, you have a hunch coffee will be the next eggs. Interesting. Let's see. Let's see. What we got? Hold on. I got to send the message really quick. Let's say front running. Well, guys, don't front run the front run. I mean, we give you the tools to front run everything. Don't try to front run the front run. That's not going to end well. <laughs> All right, folks. What do we got here? I mean, 413.30. We've seen this level a few times. You've got a lot of room for this thing to come down, though, if it ever changes this trend. Let's say. <laughs> Ooh, we got a lot of red light runners over here today. Ooh, I like that. I'll take a look at those after close. There we go. Uh, PPI data tomorrow morning. Let's see what happens. Yeah, that'll get interesting. That'll get interesting. Well, it's, yeah, we get producer price index final demand at 830. Building permit. Housing starts is going to get interesting as well. That Those numbers could actually come in decent. Wow. That one still might be up for grabs. Because that's going to lag so much. Eggs came down a bit. 36 was 930. Uh, it was 11, 42 weeks ago. Dude, I don't know what it is with you guys, but I buy a dozen eggs for like four bucks. Uh, yesterday, I ate like 12 eggs, dude. Maybe more. I ate a fuckload of eggs yesterday. Today, I didn't because I was like, I probably shouldn't do this. And I think the eggs were starting to get to me, but... I'm like extremely well behaved during the week. Oh yeah, jobs report too. Holy shit. Yeah, tomorrow's gonna be big at open. Or pre-market's gonna be a bit crazy. That'll be fun. Yeah, I forgot about that. Jobs report. That's gonna get interesting. What's the estimate? 200,000? Uh, if that comes in higher, that'll be interesting. If it comes in lower... I mean, the last was what? 190. Ooh, interesting. The last was 196. Okay. Dude, it's weird looking at this on the five-minute time frame that this NVIDIA candle was the one that I made so much money on. I mean, these were fun too, but the, the bulk of the move came in on that nice five-minute candle there. That was great. QQQ's booming. Is it though? Yeah, it's up there. Oop, sorry. Sorry, I just hit you guys with the coffee cup. My bad. I'm looking at shop, though, here. I want to see it. Yeah, I mean, oh, the two-minute baited you a little bit. That's the first two-minute bait on shop. Interesting. 36 eggs for under $10 is great. Yeah, I don't... That's, like, cheaper than what I would get them for, though. Because if I'm paying four and I'm adding three of them, then that's 12 bucks. <laughs> There's two to three dozen fresh eggs everywhere. Really? That's interesting. Yeah. Well, the store that I go to, like, it's cheaper than, like, where my friends live in Southie. Which is strange.
Let's see. Talking about eggs is super lame. It's not. No, it's not. I mean, you're just seeing this thing slowly walk its way up here. 413.50 could get interesting. What was this? 413.55. Okay. It's, it's cheaper to buy the chicken now. You're thinking about adding more chickens to your flock this spring. You want the ones with crazy afros? Like a rooster, bro? You talking about a rooster? Yeah, remember, guys, 415 today. You guys are getting that new traffic light video. Make sure that you guys are uh, ready for that. So make, like, make sure you confirm that your notifications are turned on for uh, the channel here. Um, I will be notifying you guys in the Discord when it goes out. So make sure you guys are ready for that. But this is going to be a fun one. It's going to go into the latest content section. So I'll, I'll notify all you guys and it'll be out at 415. Would you rather we talk about 90s video games? Well, I'm kind of the one that leads the conversation here because I'm the only one that has the ability to speak. Um, so if you start saying stuff about nineties videos game, that like, there's just going to be useless because I can't participate in this conversation and I'm kind of the one that has to lead it, you know, uh, 7% on the poor at a boy traders anonymous. Let's see, David, what's up, buddy. We were talking about you earlier. Funds finally cleared on your live account. White five, six on the port today with Uber AMD calls. The best, the most amazing thing that I've seen out of David is that David came in last week, watched the curriculum videos, learned our strategy and is now already printing. All of you guys can do this. It's just up to you whether or not you want to take that leap. Thousands of people have, and they are very, very happy with their decision. Do you want to be a part of the winning team, or do you want to continue to be led to the slaughter by these idiots out here? We got another 7% gain here on the port. They are a guy at a boy. There you guys go. He was on a work call. No, no, no. I just said, like, it, it was really cool to see you come in quickly and start printing. So I'll throw the link to the two-week free trial in here for you guys. Uh, all you guys that are lurking, I mean, I don't know what you're doing at this point, not coming in for at least two weeks for free. traffic light is money printing dude it is traffic lights are filthy it's spreading like wildfire not much chat how you doing buddy You're absolutely crushing a uh, a riot four hour traffic light play. There you go, man. There you go. Yeah, I just I'm not all that jazzed up about swinging things right now. Um, maybe towards the end of this week or the beginning of next week, I'll take a look at it. It's just, I mean, I always kind of size them down a little bit. I want like a good risk reward spot um, in the market, so I got to look and see where I want to pick my poison and which stocks I like. It, it is earning season too, so you got to be careful of that. But I mean, I've had a lot of success with the swings recently too. Oh, God, William. Please be careful. You're still getting led to the slaughter, buddy. Jesus. Spy 415 tomorrow? Who knows, man? Who knows? We are reactive, not predictive. Stop trying to predict things in the market. You're going to have a lot more success. Why did you buy spy calls for tomorrow, chat? Why did you do that? Mr. James, why, why'd you do that? How buying deep in the money puts can hide a short position. It has to do with broker's closeout requirements, but it doesn't really mean anything. On the five minute? Okay, so you're gonna you're literally gonna take a five minute trade and just hold it overnight. That's a silly idea. That is not taught in any of our learning curriculum videos. But again, it's your money. If you want to piss it away, you can do what you want. Could it work? Yes. Is it a repeatable thing to do? No. So let's see what happens. Oh God. Because like always learning, always saving, what it does is it it effectively would balance out like a closeout, even though it's fake because you're not actually doing it. But it doesn't really matter. Today only? No, no, no. I understand you're not buying dailies, but at the same time, why are you holding overnight when your thesis is on the five minute? That doesn't make sense.
Spy looks interesting here. Like, I don't, like, here's the thing. Like, this doesn't look bad. I just don't, like, they could finish this thing at the fucking cuck zone, dude. If they really wanted to. You said 4.15 is for tomorrow. That is overnight. But you said spy 4.15 tomorrow. That that implies that you're holding overnight. <laughs> Ooh, cash balance is looking good over here, bro. Woo! Woo! There we go. I'm not dumb. If you buy contracts on a five-minute thesis planning on holding overnight, then you are. BS market? Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Chat, please. Please. J Mr. James, please. Please, 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 please be smart with your money. If you're going to be – if you are if you have 10 spy contracts that expire tomorrow and you're thinking about holding them overnight, the only scenario in which that makes any sense is if somehow you can make them free. Other than that, just literally – I don't know, bro. Oh, my God. Guys, this is the problem. There are so many fucking people out there that that like teach this in a way that that's a good idea. Bro, you can't be doing that. Who is telling you guys that this is a good idea? I want to slap them in the face. Oh, God. You didn't say overnight? You did, though, bro. You said spy 415 tomorrow. That implies you're holding overnight if you got free runners. Yeah, then you're fine. You guys are going to make me have an aneurysm. I'm literally going to die at the age of 30 because you guys just stress me the fuck out. Oh, all right, guys. Hit that like button on the way in. Helps out with the algos over here. Let's see. You bought 415s for tomorrow. Cool. Okay. Okay. Nice. I like that. That's fine. If you're trading on the five minute though, but getting contracts that expire the next day, it's probably not smart. If I'm ever trading on the five minute, I'm always getting more time. If I'm trading on the one minute, then I can afford to get less time. Please watch the curriculum videos and the streams to understand exactly what you're doing. Please. We don't hold overnight, hold overnight unless it's runners. Yes. Thank you. Trade platform the same as Gabe's? Yeah. We both use Weeble. I mean, you actually can get out of calls 15 minutes uh, in after hours if you're trading SPY. The option market's open 15 minutes. Suit man? Why are you calling me suit man? Makes me sound like I'm in that like fucking drama from fucking what the, the caller daddy thing. Suit man. The trade 1348 membership? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's the same thing. That's where the two week free trial is to the top. It's it's uh both me and Gabe's. And like Andy's and Ivan's too. You thought spy only 15 minutes after the market? Yeah, you're right. It does. Uh do you trade crypto at all? I don't, but you can. Thanks, Boston Suit Man. No problem. Girlfriend just texted me. She wants to do some more learning tonight. Fucking John. <laughs> Uh, getting filled in after hours is not as liquid. You're selling near the bid usually. Yeah. I've done it a few times where like, I'll be in positions and then it like pumps in after hours. And I'll be like, well, I got to get the fuck out of this. Spy QQQ. And I think IWM I'll do it. I'm not sure though. You'd have to, you'd have to check on that. So spy is teetering a bit here, but we'll see. Mounting the 13. Jesus, guys. All right, everybody. Ooh, we're almost at 150 likes today. Thank you, team. Keep smacking that like on the way in. Let's get out there. All right, so you're flashing a traffic light here on the one minute on the spy. Let's see what we get. Do I hold any positions overnight? Depends. Depends. Anders, make sure you watch that video I'm putting out at uh, 4.15 tonight. Eastern. I'm going to teach her how to get a good fill. John, you... John, more power to you, buddy. <laughs> Jesus. 
I fucking I love John. <laughs> Spy slipping a little bit here. Yeah, John, don't teach her about swinging. John, that's the one thing you can never teach her. You cannot teach her about swinging. You got to keep that one in the locked box. Swinging doesn't exist. How long do you hold on Invictus Cross Alerts? Guys, it depends. Like, it, it, it's not, there's no, like, there's no, like, clear, there, I can't, like, how long do I hold? It depends. Like, I could be in the trade for 30 seconds. I could be in the trade for three hours. It, it really depends on what the chart's telling me at that time. Am I going to play this? No. No. I'm already like up over 1% today. I, there's no reason for me to be trading this. You could if you wanted to. I mean, if you look at this on the two-minute, how's it look? Mm, I don't hate it. I Like, I don't hate this here. It's just you're at the 48. It's like, mm, why fuck around? You can't give her all your secrets. That's true. You got to keep your swinging away from her. Running a wheel. Sounds like a train. That doesn't sound like much fun, Pepe. Now does it. <laughs> President of World Bank stepping down. Oh, that's interesting. Did that just come through the feed? Yeah, that's interesting. <laughs> stay away from marriage, though. Yes, absolutely stay away from marriage. Any option book recommendations? No, I actually, uh, a lot of people like to read books. I, I have really never read any books on trading. I just, uh, I like, I just learned differently. I like, I, I, I used to love reading. I just like, I don't have time anymore. You don't know how to read. Nice. Anders. Neither do I. Neither do I. Dude, I'm tired today, bro. I don't know if I'm going to go to the gym. Fuck that. Of course I'm going. Just kidding. I don't know. We'll see. You need to read The Best Loser Wins. Yeah, I, I kind of want to read that one too. You just slapped the ask. Oh my God, Pepe. <laughs> oh, geez. Yeah, I mean, if Spy breaks this 48 here, it's kind of getting held up at 413. Let's see what it really wants to do. Experience gives you the best lessons. Yeah, that's that's how I learned from doing doing shit. <laughs> Let's see. Good thing because stock books are boring. Are they? Like, I've read, like, Flash Boys, Liars Poker, stuff like that, but, like, not, like, actual trading books. It's like, I know how to trade. It's like, what am I going to give myself analysis paralysis? No, if it's not broken, don't fix it. There's always more to learn. Um, but in terms of learning, I, I think learning through experience is one of the best things that you can do. You... Tesla put on the one minute might get interesting. It could. I mean, this is just, I don't, I have no interest in trading at this time of the day, usually ever. 2.30. Yeah, no, I don't, I don't like this part of the day. There's just not enough time. It's like, what, like, why are we doing that? Long-term secrets for short-term trading. I mean, yeah, there's probably a lot of really good books out there. I just like don't have the time to do it. It's not so much I don't have the time. I do. I just don't have the motivation to do it. I just almost just don't care. Yeah, now you're flashing the traffic light back to the upside. Little bounce off of 413 there. Let's see if it wants to break 413.50 now.
Let's see. 415, brand new video dropping. Get ready, team. Make sure you guys have those notifications on. <clears throat> oh, I've got some killer short form videos coming out for you guys later, too. Those will be fun. Those will be very fun. Bitcoin keeps pushing. Oh, cool. I mean, Spy's running up here a little bit. Let's see if you can break that 413.50. What's my long term at today? What's what's AMD at? What's AMD doing? Uh, down a little. Eh, let's see. Like I wouldn't be surprised if this ran up towards the end of the day, but yeah, this is just baiting. <laughs> <clears throat> what do we got here? I mean, this is just kind of 50 50. Huh. Okay. Huh. I wonder what's going to happen here. Yeah. And then right after the stream, too, I'll be dropping one of those uh, those videos on Instagram for you guys. So get ready for that. Um, you guys have been killing it over there. Thank you guys. I appreciate that. That Instagram account's going to get fun. Could we see 41450 before close? We definitely could. It's just it's a dollar higher. You need to break that 41350. Last hour of the day usually gets exciting, but I'm always a bystander and just an observant for it. I don't like trading it. It's just not for me. How's Dixie doing? I honestly haven't been looking at the dollar too much or yields recently. They just don't like to me, they haven't mattered as much in the last couple of weeks. SV is dropping a video tonight and I'm making one. Oh, John, you're getting into that line of work now too. Good for you, buddy. You better hop on that OnlyFans grind, you know? Let's see. All right, guys. 30 likes away from 150. I appreciate that. And make sure that you guys are hopping in for your two-week free trial as well. Link at the top of the live chat, but I'll throw that in here for you guys again. Make sure you take advantage of that, man. Best trading platform on the face of the planet. You want to follow these other idiots that are just leading you to the slaughter? Do you want to come in and hang out with the big boys? It's up to you, bro. It is up to you. <clears throat> you said multiple sources of income. Hey, man, run it up. Go for it. Slow movement, dude. Even on the one minute, it's moving slow. Let's see. The patter. I haven't heard that word in a while. The patter. But yeah, dude, it sells itself. Like you see like all the thousands of people that are using it. It's like, okay. There's not really much you can say about our platform at this point. You're looking at chickens you can order online. Maybe I'll order some Chick-fil-A tonight. <laughs> Maybe I will do that. Or I'll hunt for a deal on Uber Eats. Dude, I am a slut for Uber Eats deals. Don't even get me fucking started. I will sometimes literally just read through the Uber Eats deals and be like, this is a good one. Like, oh, dude. Because I get free delivery. No delivery fee because I pay like 10 bucks a month for like Uber One. So like when I go to order food, I get the deal. I get no delivery fee and I just like run it up. Sometimes they do deals where it's like order $45 worth of food and get 15 off. But if you order $30 worth or like, what is it? Like it's like $30 worth of food. You just pay the extra 15 and get a free item. It's like fucking crazy. It's awesome. Dude, they do have good deals. I used to exploit the Shake Shack one all the time. <clears throat> All right, guys, what do we got here?
UPST is up 30%. It's earnings, so cool. I wouldn't chase it. That would be silly. <clears throat> Let's see. Are they going to give us a break or what? I mean, you've got another traffic light here, another test of that 48. AMD doesn't give a fuck. Let's see. Let's see. All right, team. Nah, you didn't confirm the traffic light. This thing just looks like it's going to chop around at these highs, for now at least. You really need that break of the 48 here to really send it lower. Then you'd be looking at this level right here, this 412.76, then the 200 EMA on the one minute. Just signed up. What's the gang sign? The money printer, bro. I don't know. I don't know. But Richard, everybody, give a nice warm welcome to Richard. He's finally taken the step in the right direction. Richard, you made the right choice, buddy. Welcome to the community. Welcome to the family. We're going to get you printing. We are going to get you printing. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I want to see everybody in the live chat. Welcome. Oh, fucking Jesus Christ. <laughs> Sorry. I just looked at my phone and something funny happened. Don't call him Dick, John. <laughs> Let's print. Let's fucking do it, Richard. I love the energy. Welcome, bro. Realist community in the hood and everywhere. Life wisdom. Appreciate that, buddy. Appreciate those nice words. No, no, no. There's no mandatory super chat fee. Get that. No, no, no. You guys do not have to send me supers. I don't need them. Don't be a Richard. <laughs> Ankle gang. Yeah, welcome, man. Welcome. All you new members that are filtering in, there's all like the thousands of you. Um, we appreciate you guys. And we're going to get you printing, dude. We are going to get you printing. <laughs> Joining also comes with SCV Life Advice special add-on. Sure, if you end Super Chat, you entered the raffle for the car. No, no, no. There's no car giveaway either. None of that. None of that. Yeah, but for those of you guys that are curious, again, the link's at the top of the live chat. I'll throw that in here for you guys as well. Two weeks for free, man. That means 14 days where you do not have to pay and you get to use everything. The only thing that you don't get access to is the lifetime masterclasses. But, I mean, a lot of you guys that came in for the trial have been upgrading to lifetime. I mean, it just goes to show the power of the system that we're teaching that we can turn people into lifetime believers in less than less than two weeks. Cigar. I got to start smoking more cigars. I need more bad habits. You know, I need like more bad habits. Like I already have drinking and partying. Let's get more bad habits. <laughs> Just kidding. I don't need, I don't need more bad habits. Guys, I, I was, I was so in shambles on Saturday that I couldn't go out. It was bad. Which never happens to me, but it did this time. It was very strange. No, I do not need more bad habits. I do want to find a cigar though. Oh, cool. Cool. 
crack at the golf course. I never smoked any of the golf course crack. I just watched other people do it. That doesn't make me a crack smoker. That just makes me a crack smoking observer. Which was really funny to watch. Like I was like, why why are we why are you smoking crack at six in the morning at the golf course? Why are we doing this? I dude, my life's been weird. Imagine prepubescent fat little kid innocent Vicks going to a golf course trying to make some money when he's 14 years old and he just starts witnessing dudes smoking crack at six in the morning. It's weird, bro. Like, imagine that. I roll up. Woohoo! I'm up at 5.30 in the morning. I'm assuming that people are going to all take this serious. It's 6 in the morning. Fucking Dave comes down, gives us the list. We got to put our names on there. I'm trying to get get it in early just to make sure that I can go out because there's no guarantee of making any money. And then these dudes over there just decide to start smoking crack at the golf course at six in the morning. Like what the, f- how, like, how is that supposed to work? Why, why are we doing this? They would be drinking too. They'd start fighting each other. And this is not like, like a shit golf course. Like this is probably the nicest golf course in that area. And they're just, fuck it. Smoking crack. <laughs> it's wild, dude. Wild times. The kidnap story? Yeah, I got kidnapped one time too. I feel like my life has just been like a, a roller coaster, you know? I was kidnapped as a kid for a little bit. It's like a couple hours. It wasn't that bad. Like, yeah, dude. Like, I, I forgot about that. Thanks for bringing that up. I forgot I was kidnapped. How do you know it was crack? They said it was crack. I saw it. It was fully, it was definitely crack. <laughs> Anything can happen. I've smoked crack in a public library bathroom. Yeah. Well, funny story too. At my second, well, no, this would have been my third job because I did the caddying. Um, yeah. Then I did the special needs day camp, which was really fun. And then, um, then I worked at the other job uh, where I witnessed one of my coworkers. I mean, I didn't witness him do it because it was a single stall bathroom, but he would just go into the bathroom and just start snorting. Just <laughs> you'd walk by the bathroom and all you would hear was just. <laughs> You're like, huh? I wonder what he's doing in there. <laughs> like, I wonder, I wonder what this guy's doing over there. Did they offer you any? No, dude. I was like 17. <laughs> like, was I kidnapped by being lured uh, by free candy into a white van? No, I was actually kidnapped by my babysitter. Maybe he's got allergies. He didn't have allergies. He had lots of family money and just didn't give a fuck. <laughs> like... <laughs> Maybe he was just trying to unhinge a buggy. Yeah, not every day, though. Multiple times a day, going to the bathroom and just you walk by and it's just... <laughs> Weird times, man. Weird times. Oh, and then, like, one of my roommates in college became, like, a drug kingpin. Like, it's... <laughs> like, dude. It's, it's, it's just... There's so many wild things. Where I was an accidentally... Like, I like I had the coca leaves in my bag. And, like, they just didn't see it. Like... Dude, I have so many just wildly just stupid stories of just like weird shit happening. Like who else do you know that was like 14 watching people smoke crack at a golf course, also was kidnapped, also one time accidentally internationally smuggled schedule two drugs. It was an accident. <laughs> Threw them out right away. Um like it's weird. Like how like there's, there's so many strange things that have happened. Oh Maybe, maybe like later I can tell you a story about a plane. I'm not going to tell, I'm not going to tell you guys now. I'd have to get approval to tell this story, but this, there's a story that you guys would find really funny. Can I cover Mara? What do you want to know on it? I need something specific time frame. Uh, What do you want to know? 
wait a minute, kidnapped? Oh, yeah, I was kidnapped. And then also my brother, like, drunk drove to come, like, hang out with me after. I was also, like, five. So, like, I didn't know better. But my parents, like, remember, it was a babysitter. So my parents were, like, out of the state. The only people that they could have called was, like, my brother. And he was, like, at a party. <laughs> They're, like, you got to go get him. And he's, like, okay. He's, like, are you sure? They're, like, you got to go. And he's, like, all right, bro. <laughs> like, figure it out. It's been on a run. Well, if it's been on a run, it's probably not a good spot to enter because if you look at this right here, where have you been signal? I mean, you had this nice one on the four hour at that's spy. Sorry. Get Mara over here. So if you look at Mara on the four hour, you got alerted on this candle here. You play the retest at what? 659. I probably wouldn't have touched this, but that's a nice move there. You got resistance at 788 here, which is going to get interesting. So, I mean, again, it could continue to push, but I would wait for a retest on this thing on the longer time frame if it's going to continue. If you miss the move, it's no big deal. you're already in it well that's a good time to use the stop loss strategy or start scaling out maybe i don't know i mean if, if you're up a lot on the position you don't want to let a good trade go red ever you almost drowned in a construction site oh i almost drowned too remember i think gabe and i were talking about this yesterday i almost got like sucked out to sea one time that was interesting yeah it was in rhode island yep there was like riptide or something and, and dumbass me decided to go fuck around in the ocean uh, and then I get s just like riptided way the fuck out. And I'm just like bobbing up and down trying to survive, you know? On the daily. On the daily here, like you're right at resistance. I, you are about to get a traffic light to the upside though. That's not terrible. But I mean, you already had this move up here. in January from like what? Four to, wow, that's a big boy move. I mean, if you break this, you're going to have this level right here. 855, 950. And then 200 EMA. It just looks a little cooked on the four hour. Yeah, this thing is just blasted on the four hour here. That to me, if you're already in it, I would say like, like if I was looking at that trade and I'm up a lot and the time frame that I'm looking at is getting cooked, I'd probably at minimum scale up. But I mean, you can do whatever you want at the end of the day. If you like the trade, hold it. If you don't like the trade, sell it. It all comes down to what you want at the end of the day because you know exactly what the risk reward is telling you. Riot's probably going to look the same. That's what I would expect. Yeah, same deal here. You just got the traffic light. You look at this on the daily. It's not as cooked. Riot's not as cooked. But if Mare and Riot are going to move together, if one of them tanks, they're both going. But it's going to be off of Bitcoin anyway. So, like, eh, be careful. Uh, are we going to get a video on the yellow uh, yellow traffic light for the day in the four hour? Today at 4.15 p.m., guys, I'm sending you guys the notification. Uh, you guys are, what do you call it? Um for being my therapist you guys aren't my therapist i'm telling you guys funny stories yeah at 4 15 the daily and four hour traffic light video comes out on my channel so get ready for that today 4 15 eastern in about what an hour and something hour and a half you guys get that video you're welcome make sure you guys have notifications turned on for the youtube channel here Uh, how do you play the traffic lights on spy at one and one fifteen? Put and call came. How to handle that? Where is this? Right here. Are you looking at this? Are you looking at this? Oh, this. This is perfect. So this is why the traffic lights are so successful. And if you're if you're basing your trades based on like going through the day with traffic lights, this is perfect. If you have a traffic light to the downside here and you're taking this off of the two hundred, you might have gotten a nice little scale out here. Um, but at the same time, if you look at this and you and you get that traffic light back to the upside, the risk here is very, very, very small, but they're self-corrective. So you can actually play it right back to the upside. That's 1259 right here, right here, which is fine. Um, but this is perfect. It keeps the risk really small. And then you can hit a trade that goes like fucking 50% right here. That's why the traffic lights are so filthy. Spy is starting to crack down here a little bit here too. Watch 413. Oh, damn. You guys are running up one of these Instagram videos right now. Thank you, team. Appreciate it. You don't handle it. You just manage the risk, buddy. 
uh, when I'm scalping the one minute, what kind of percentages am I getting on them? Of uh, big ones. When I hit one, they're like, a, they're usually like 30. 30 is pretty good, but I'm scaling out around like 10 to 15. And then I use the stop loss strategy and just let the thing go. But again, stay away from the one minute if you're not good at managing risk. Because if you're going to see this right here and you're going to think, oh, I'm going to hold it. It's going to come back even though the chart is telling you not to. You're going to get blasted on the minute. So you have to be very disciplined in where you're taking your losses. 1348 page videos trying to push the algo. No, no, no. Oh, thank you for that. I appreciate that. But uh, this one's on my Instagram account, the short, the VIX one, one. It's ripping up there a little bit. There we go. Can we bring back X? I actually got my revenge on steel. It was like, what, two months ago I did it. I hit a nice little 30% around steel and I was like, all right, we're even. <laughs> All right, Spies flickering 413 here. I still don't really like this, but I mean, again, right down to that 41287 level right there. Oh, on my way to make sure you like all those too. Well, it's not so much that you like them, it's that you watch the entire way through. That's that's the main thing. So if you're going to engage with all the videos, uh, yeah, guys, make sure you're leaving comments and stuff too. That helps with the Instagram stuff. But again, it doesn't matter. I'm going to still crank those videos out and they're still going to rip. But that's how the the short form algo works. It's watch time, and also engagement, but less so. The SQ lights with the one minute, the Ford traffic lights killed you with stops. That's fine. I mean, if they're if they're probably super tight. At where is this? At one. Okay, this one is. Where's this one's great? At one right here. this is just chop i mean you're barely losing on any of these trades here it's like traffic light to traffic light you're barely down traffic light to traffic light you're barely down traffic light to traffic light you're barely down and then this one hits that's the beauty of the traffic lights if they if it's going to invalidate you're not going to be down very much especially if your entries are decent like if you bought it down here you're fucked if you bought it up here you're fucked if you bought it down here you're fucked you got to wait for the retest Now, this thing's just teetering at this level here. Let's see. It used all your buying power? Well, why'd you keep trying to play it? Did you oversize? Like, how... Why did four trades take all your buying power? Yeah, here comes Spy a little bit. Oh, there she goes. Probably oversized. Don't do that. Don't oversize. Yep, nice little one-minute traffic light there on the SPY. Cool. Cool, simple. Simple, simple, simple. Sorry. Uh, corn, probably not. The people still talking about that after Ape are just literally just using you for clicks and views. After Ape came out, we were like, no. Again, you guys heard me say it the entire time. Yeah, Brian, exactly. You got to look at the chart. You can't just go based off of only the traffic light. But we're going to be talking about that a lot more on the uh, on, in the masterclass this weekend. So make sure you guys are there for that. That's going to be an awesome masterclass. The jug is back? Yeah, I have. Well, no, we've had this jug for a while. I got to get a new jug soon, though. I've been using this one a lot.
But yeah, corn. If you actually want to make money in the market, and and like, because I know you've seen all of our people over here just ripping it and having an amazing time, come in for two weeks for free to our platform. Sunday at ten or two, two. Do I know the resistance levels for Bitcoin? I mean, daily bread. You can just go. You, if you have their the the charts and and you're in our platform, they're pre uh, they're pre drawn out automatically for you on the longer time frames. They're automatically drawn. So you don't even need me. You can just like pull up the chart and then you have it have it listed right there. On any time frame, they're automatic. Like I switch this to the three, you get new ones. I switch this to the five. And this is just looking at spot. You get new support and resistance right here. You could also just wash your jug. I could do that too, but I'm probably not gonna. I'll think about it. Well, here's the problem. You're going to, uh, here's the problem coin that I've seen with a lot of people. What they do is they, and it's not, um, this is just kind of human nature. What you're going to do is you're going to see all of us printing all the time. And you're gonna be like, wow, that sounds interesting. But what you're going to do is you're going to watch a YouTube video because you're curious from somebody that's trying to use you for clicks and views. Um, and then you're going to try, like, they're going to say something that makes you feel good. And you're going to be like, oh, I'll just wait for this. And then it's never going to happen. And then you're going to miss out on all the gains that we're making. So it's okay. It's almost like this. It's almost like when you have like you're you're too attached to like a girlfriend or a boyfriend or something, and you're just like, well, I could go do this, but oh my god, they just showed me. They just like text me back. Oh, I'm gonna go with them. No, 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 no. Don't do that shit. So it's up to you. If you wanna if you wanna come in and change your current situation, we are here for you. If you wanna keep listening to the people that are leading you to the slaughter and just b using you for clicks and views, I mean, you can do that too. It's up to you. dropping facts yeah dude i mean i'm never gonna lie to you over here that's the thing like when things change and stuff happens in the market i'm just gonna be blatantly honest with you i don't care how it makes you feel because i want to make sure that you actually have the accurate information of what's about to happen or what the most probable move is if that makes people feel bad so be it i don't care i'm trying to help you but there's going to be other people that are too afraid of the reaction like dude when i came out with all that stuff that i was talking about and it ended up being 100 accurate people were sending me death threats bro you think I give a fuck? No. One, I'm still here and I'm also still right. So it's like, come on, guys, let's think logically and make sure that we're actually making the most out of our time in the market here and not just fucking around, circle jerking each other, trying to make ourselves feel good. Simple as that, man. Uh, when you buy and sell contracts or shares on the same day, do you worry about the washout rule, aka tax purposes? I don't worry about it too much now. I don't really worry about it. On sub months ago, as you were constantly talking about your 1348 subscription, literally click on and now you're still pumping it. Here's the thing, Snud. The reason why I talk about it so much, sometimes to a point where it pisses you off, is because we're making millionaires. Simple as that. You can come in here and be like, no, you're not. No, 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 we are. We are. We've made two already. So you can continue sitting here being upset about your own current financial situation, or you can come in and do something about it. Two weeks for free. Link at the top of the live chat. Come change your life. Or you can sit here listening to the other people that are trying to gonna be nice to you, and it's like, I don't give a fuck. I'm not here to like be liked by everybody. I don't care. I could just sit here do trading on my own. I'm trying to help you guys. And you have to be subscribed to the to chat. Yeah, I know. You're a dumbass, snud. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, you can come in here and talk all the nonsense you want. It doesn't change the facts. We print, you guys don't. Simple as that, man. Thanks, SV. That said, uh, let's see. Oh, your shares are free? That's fine. I mean, you can do whatever you want, man. But again, be careful. Be careful, buddy. Because there's going to be a lot of people that are still going to pump bullshit into your ears.
send you a link to your video tomorrow. John, please don't. But guys, it is 3 p.m. We are going to be wrapping it up for today. Remember, reach out to Diana to upgrade to either the lifetime payment plan or the three-year to make sure that you are in there uh, for the masterclass this weekend. And for all of you guys lurking, I mean, you guys have seen it this morning with the NVIDIA trades, everybody printing all the time. It's spreading like wildfire. The thousands of you guys that are using this system, it's, it's unbelievable. Man, so if you guys do want to hop in, remember, two weeks for free. Make sure, and again, guys, in an hour and fifteen minutes, that gem of a video is dropping on the daily and the four-hour traffic lights. Get ready for that. I'll send you guys the link. Uh, to the the masterclass is going to be at two p.m. this weekend on Sunday. Thanks, SV. We'll be joining Anders. I fucking love you, bro. Let's get you. Let's get you in there, buddy. Let's get you printing. But guys. Why be on the lookout for those videos later, Instagram, TikTok, uh, and the one coming out at 415 on those traffic lights. So I'll shoot you guys that link um, in the Discord once it's out, but make sure you guys have notifications turned on for the channel so you guys get that when it does come out. So team, I'll see you later. Peace.